The wrapping function is a useful tool to have in our toolbox. So let's go ahead and define it. The wrapping function is a function that takes a real number as its input and gives as its output a point x comma y. And this isn't just any point. It's a point on the unit circle. Let's try to get a handle on this function and we'll anthropomorphize it a little. We'll think of starting here and walking around the circle. We can walk around the circle counterclockwise or we can walk around the circle clockwise. How far do we walk around the circle and in which direction? The distance we walk is given by this input. And this input could be positive or negative, whereas distance has to be positive. So the distance will be the absolute value of t. Which direction do we walk? If t is positive, we walk counterclockwise. If T is negative, we walk clockwise. So we walk either clockwise or counterclockwise this many units starting here and we wind up somewhere on the unit circle. This point on the unit circle has an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. And that's this point here. So start at this point, walk, either clockwise or counterclockwise, this many units, then look at the X and Y coordinate of wherever you stop. For example, let's call this wrapping function W And let's apply W to two pi. Two pi happens to be the circumference of this circle. So when we walk two pi units around, we wind up right back where we started. And what is this starting point, it's one comma zero. If we applied the wrapping function to negative two pi, now we'd walk clockwise but two pi units would still bring us to this point. 
one comma zero. What about W of pi over two? Well, the circumference is a two pi. So this semicircle is pi units long and pi over two is half of the semicircle. We walk pi over two units and we wind up here. at zero comma one. And that's how the wrapping function works. It has as its domain all the real numbers because suppose an input is bigger than two pi, maybe an input of four pi. We walk around the circle four pi units. We wind up somewhere. As it happens, we wind up back at one zero. So this input gives a perfectly valid out any real number does. Whether it's positive or negative, that just controls the direction. Whether it's a, an integer or a fraction or some ugly decimal, we can walk that many units and wind up somewhere on the unit circle.